Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. It's been about a week. I don't have a lot finished. <laughs> I have a gazillion and one whips, but very little finished. Uh, it's been busy, busy, busy. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to try to make this super quick because I have house guests coming and it is now about 2.30 in the afternoon and they arrive here around 5.30. Still have a lot to do before they arrive. but. I wanted to get on here real quick just to talk a couple of, uh, talk to you about a couple of things that I have finished and then some happy mail. <laughs> um, okay, the first thing that I did was I think you all know that I was testing a couple of patterns for Angelia from the Little Xenia patch and I believe others have done it, Laurel and Karen and me too. <laughs> I made Corky the Bobber. Now, the reason I'm so excited about him, one, it is the friggin', oh, excuse me, <laughs> the easiest, the easiest pattern or amigurumi pattern I have ever made. <laughs> and number two, my husband loves to fish. Oh my goodness. So when he saw him, he's like, he claimed him right away. And I said, well, now I gotta do a video first. So this is Corky the Fishing Bobber. He's so cute. Anyway, uh, it is a paid for pattern, but um, it's pretty nominal. I'll leave the link for where you can buy it down below. Oh my goodness, so easy. Even I got it done in no time flat. So I highly recommend this for all of your fishing uh, people in your life. Like these are so cute. I love it. I, I really, really love it. So. Way to go, Angelia. I love it. Oh, and by the way, she asked for safety eyes, but I used buttons because I don't have any safety eyes. I did order some, but they're going from China. I don't know. Who knows how long it's going to take. So I have a lot of buttons. I have jars and jars full of buttons, and I thought, well, why not just use it? It's going to my husband anyway, so it's not like he's going to be gnawing on it. <laughs> so buttons it is. I think it worked out well. Anyway, Corky is adorable and he goes very well with Fisher the Frog. <laughs> anyway, good job, Angelia. I think she's going to have another pattern because I think she, I think I saw an email from her saying, do you want to test another one? I'm like, I'm going to try, but <laughs> time is so short for me lately. Uh, we were up at the cottage this weekend and I took so much to work on and got very little done. Um, we had friends up because it was a long weekend for us, so I was socializing, you know, I just didn't didn't find the need to, to crochet. I was socializing with my friends and there was a young uh, gentleman there. He's 12 years old, Jack. Um, he is one of my favorite children on the planet. I mean, a short of mine, but he, I've known him since he was six months old and love 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 I just want to squeeze him but at 12 he doesn't want to be squeezed anymore but he showed an interest in crochet I was like yes of course I'm gonna teach you we were chaining for quite a long time uh, he's, he, he was getting the you know the hang of it um, and we were doing it for a couple of hours and he made his mom a necklace and a bracelet and he was working on some other things all just chaining and uh, then he started getting a little uh, frustrated because, you know, I guess he figures after a couple of hours I should have this dome pat. Well, it doesn't work that way. We all know that, but he doesn't. So I gave him some pom-pom um, uh, makers and, sent, you know, gave him a bunch of yarn, some pom-pom makers, and he made one pom-pom at the cottage, and he promised that he was going to be making more for me to attach to my hands because I hate making pom-poms. Um, what else? Uh, oh yes, he's also going to be, he said that he would come and spend the day with me in the next week or two, possibly the next week, um, to learn how to loom knit a hat. I figured, you know, yes, he's got the chaining down and I will work with him on the single crochet and all that, but loom knitting, I mean, you can, he can, if he sits and he does it for a day, he'll have a hat and that'll, that'll hook him even more. <laughs> Anyway, uh, looking forward to that. The other thing that I did was a knitted project. Now I saw this 
uh, pattern and it's called the LTYC Super Bulky Cowl. And I believe it's a free pattern. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure it's a free pattern. And But they use uh, Malabrigo Rasta, which is a super bulky. I don't have that. And I wasn't going to buy it because I'm just learning how to knit. So I, I downloaded the pattern and I looked at it. It's literally one row. It, it's one row. That's it. <laughs> the whole pattern is one row. And I did not have any, so anyway, you use the uh, super bulky using uh, number 15 uh, circular needles. Well, I don't know what number 15 is. It's, it's big. Um, but I didn't have that. So I used number 6 and I used Woolies Thick and Quick, which is a bulky, super bulky. And I made it a little neck warmer. So, and this is the, this is knitted. This is knitted. The problem is, because I'm new, I only knew one bind off, and that one's way too tight. So what was supposed to be a neck warmer is actually a hair bun. <laughs> so uh, I said, I can't be beat by a pattern. That's crazy. It's a one, it's a one sentence. I can't be beat by that. So I got another. Another same thing, Woolies Thick and Quick, or oh, this one the colorway is Mustard, and this one the colorway is Cranberry. And so, and I had uh, 12, I found 12 millimeter needles, which are thick and big, and this is what I made. Okay, I know my gauge, my tension needs to be worked on, but I just can't believe I knitted this. I knitted this, and this one? I went looking on YouTube um, for a stretcher bind off and I found one and it was a tutorial by Very Pink Knits. She's awesome by the way. And she, look at this stretch, oh my god, <laughs> I love it, I love it. So this one is a cow, a neck warmer. I love it and you all know if you've been around long enough you know that I love all things around my neck, I love it. So this. Is what it turned out. I don't have Malabrigo, didn't have number 15, I don't even know what number 15 needles are, but this is using a super chunky and um, number 12 millimeter needles and it's got this kind of like a um, spiral. Anyway, you can see. Yeah, I needed that. I'm just excited that I needed that. That's all I've got done. That's it. That's it. I got, like I said, I got a gazillion whips. Um, but let's share some happy mail because we're already at eight minutes. The first thing I wanted to, sh to share, the first hap piece of happy mail is someone that has requested not to be named. So you know who you are and I wanted to thank you very much for this. This looks like an older Lion Brand booklet. But guess what? It's using the homespun, the stuff that I adore. I love this stuff. Anyway, in here, uh, so it's a, it's a booklet with the patterns. You have a wrap, an afghan, and this sweater made out of homespun. I love it. It's got the collar. It's, it's wonderful. As soon as I finish some of the whips that I have, I'm definitely going to start on this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And um, I love foam spun. And you got to see the card that she sent me. Look at that. Oh, oh my heart. I love it so much. Uh, well, like I said, you know who you are. And I thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And this will be a near future uh, make. Oh, I might as well show you what I bought. Finally got it. I bought this and I got Likey Driftwood Knitting Needles. But two and a half millimeter US 1.5. They look scary small. <laughs> but I, I want to make socks or... I don't know, I, want, I have so much thin yarn, I want to try using it. So, 
I bought that. Um, okay, what else did I get? I got, so you all know that I shouted out Nicole over at uh, Alpaca My Bag Mads Designs. And as a thank you, which is not necessary at all, um, she sent me a beautiful card and stitch markers. I'm just trying to open it. So even the bag is tied with a little tassel stitch marker. So cute. It's the details, which I don't possess. I don't possess those things. But look at that. Is that not adorable? It's a little, little tassel, tassel stitch marker. But inside, she sent me, oh my goodness, so many. She sent me um, a joy. Oh, it says joy, you have to trust me. And she sent me a ballerina uh, doing the splits. Uh, or is she a cheerleader? I'm not sure. She might be a cheerleader. Cheerleader. She sent me believe. This one's just an oval that says believe. And then this one a dragonfly and let me tell you this weekend oh my goodness I wish I'd taken a picture so we we were infested with like bugs like crazy and a few months ago we were at a cottage show and they were selling these dragonflies on this wavy kind of clip thing that you clip to your hat it worked it didn't work so well against the mosquitoes but the black flies the horse flies they stayed away they did not touch me at all. And mosquitoes, they, they, they had a feast. But anyway, it's just a little, um, like a dragonfly, colorful dragonfly, and you clip it to your hat and it kind of waves, and all the bugs stayed away, I'm telling you. If I remember, I'll, show, I'll bring it down from the cottage next time and I'll show you what I mean. I think everybody who goes out into the bush should have one of these, awesome. Anyway, thank you, Nicole. That was very kind of you. Not necessary, but kind nonetheless. And then, this, was, this is a card that I received, and it was a lovely card by uh, uh, someone named Tony. And she just wanted to wish me a great summer and tell me that she enjoys my podcast. And um, I seriously appreciate this because she took the time out of her day and mailed it and you have got to see the card look at that is that not adorable I love it love it love it love it thank you Tony that was very very sweet and uh, very unexpected uh, what else I also got, uh, I think a few other podcasters I've seen, got um, some happy mail from Mary at Mary's Crochet Chit Chat. You got to see the card. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love dogs so much. I love all animals, but dogs in particular. There's, look at that inquisitive look. Like you... My Oscar has this look a lot of times. He's like, when you talk, his head cocks over like, what? What? <laughs> I love this. Mary, you got it bang on. But not only that, look at all these stitch markers. And what I like about them, and I think I've mentioned this before, they're actually earrings. Um, they're easier to, to use. So they're earrings. So anyway, let's see what let's see what we got. We got Ireland, of course. We got Ireland. And we got a four-leaf clover. Yeah. Four-leaf clover. Of course. We have a shell. Okay. We have a peace sign which from what I understand, much more peace is needed these days. I think we all need a shot of peace. But my favorite is the turtle. Oh my goodness. And I did see turtles over the cottage this weekend. They were the painted turtles. Oh, my, they're little. They were like, like this. And they were just 
uh, hanging around the dock, you know, and they come up and sun themselves and then, you know, go under and then come back a little while. They're awesome. Anyway, thank you, Mary. That was very thoughtful of you. Um, very unexpected as well. Actually, all of this was unexpected. And the last one that I got today, I ran to the mailbox, was uh, a beautiful card from a, a, a fellow Canadian named Michelle. And um, she just wanted to say thanks for having the channel, but she sent a beautiful little card. Okay. And the great thing that she, she made, she sent me some handmade items and I love them. And at first I thought, oh my goodness, they're face washes because they're the perfect size. They're the perfect size. Look at that. And look at the colors. It's like a purple. So I think, okay, for sure it's cotton, but I've never seen this color. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's sugar and cream, lily sugar and cream. Because I've never seen this combination. So it's a, a series. You've got greens and burgundies and purples and blues. And then the yellow. And so she pulled the yellow out of that and made the center. So I thought, oh, they're face washes. Because they're perfect size. But no, they're coasters. <laughs> so they will be going up to the cottage. That's her intention. I actually have some other handmade items at the cottage that were made from, by others. So there's four of them. They're wonderful. Uh, but we don't actually use coasters for anything because um, I have a rustic aesthetic. Uh, you've all seen my dining room table. Everything in, everything in my house is rustic. Most of what is in my house is either garage sale finds or hand-me-downs. I'm too cheap to buy. <laughs> I mean, I bought our couches because you use that every day. And I spent a good, fortune, or a good coin on that but nothing else in my house. And everything else is hand-me-downs or uh, garage sale finds. Maybe one day I'll do a tour of, of some of uh, some of my house. My husband thinks I show too much as it is, but anyway. But by far my favorite thing that she made. And it's such a simple little thing, and I never thought to make it. She made me hair scrunchies. And I've seen others do them, but look at these. Look at them, they're so cute. I love them. Let's see if I can put it up. Okay, gonna be real quick. I love them, they're so cute. Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> the 80s. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Michelle. That was so kind of you to even think of me. Um, and very, very, very thoughtful. Everyone was very, very thoughtful. Anyway, I'm at 18 minutes. That's more than enough. Uh, like I said, I, it's going to be probably a week because I'm, I'm have, I have house guests coming today and then um, more guests up at the cottage on the weekend so um, if I don't get back this week um, I will try early next week and I hope everyone has a wonderful week and weekend and we will talk soon.